everybody, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Freya if you are new here and if you're already a subscriber, welcome back, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. Today I am delivering you my favourite ever kind of video. It's going to be a Zara haul and hopefully you love them as much as I do too. I do sometimes get really paranoid that all I do is talk about Zara, but then when I don't talk about Zara, you guys are like, hello, are we going to get a Zara haul soon? So I'm kind of guessing you love it as much as I do fingers crossed. I'm hoping this haul is going to be kind of quick and short. That doesn't mean I haven't got much stuff though. I have got two big boxes. One's down here and the other one is behind me. This one behind me I haven't even opened yet. The one next to me has been opened and tried on and I honestly love all of the stuff. So with that I'm going to jump into box number one. Oh my god this thing is so heavy. All of this stuff is going to be spring, summer, kind of neutrals, whites, that kind of vibe. Anyway, okay, right, so first item actually is a bit of a strange one. It is a bag. So I've probably mentioned about 55 times by the time you watch this video that I am going on holiday. I needed a bag to take to like the beach and stuff with me and also wanted something that was gonna be flat enough for me to pack. So last year from Zara, I got a bag and it was kind of like a wicker bag so nice i literally still love it now but the problem is with that bag is you can't pack them because they're too bulky it is actually really quite big it is also kind of heavy which isn't too great when it comes to packing but look how flat it goes you could literally just lay that in your suitcase and that's exactly what i wanted from it it was 39.99 and i just think i'll be using this all summer in a minute i'll show you this on with the other outfits i bought and you'll see how lovely it goes so yeah that was my first item and super happy with that the next item is this pair of trousers. Oh my goodness, I am so impressed with these. I have got like three outfits planned for my holiday, all different, just using these trousers. They fit amazingly. I picked them up in a size medium and they're 29 99 and you will see how beautiful they are on. Here are the trousers on. I think these are absolutely amazing. So they've got this kind of little button detail here and then they've got the belt loops as well. They've got darts that run from the top all the way to the bottom. In terms of leg length, I am a 32 in Topshop jeans and these fit me absolutely perfectly. I'm not really wearing them how I'd style them, although this outfit doesn't actually look too bad. I just chucked my trainers on because it was the first things that I saw, but I would actually wear these with just a little pair of brown leather slides. You could also dress these up though and wear them with heels in the evening and they're just such a lovely comfortable fit. Also whilst we're here, I just thought I'd show you this bag that I said I was going to use as a beach bag. I do actually kind of plan on wearing this bag with these trousers and I just think it would look really cute. Imagine if I had a bikini on, an open white shirt, a pair of brown slides on the beach with these trousers. I think it's such a vibe. Next item is pretty boring to be honest. It's just a little basic. I always pick up basic stuff whenever I do online orders because I just don't think you can have enough white t-shirts. I've got one on now. I literally have so many white t-shirts. It's like I actually think I've got a bit of a white t-shirt obsession. I always find once you've washed it, it just goes a little bit off. You can only wear a white t-shirt a few times before it just doesn't stay white anymore. So I just grabbed this one from Zara. It's in a size small. It was $9.99. Here is that white t-shirt on just to give you an idea of how it fits. It's really nice. It's got a raw hem on it though. So it's kind of like frayed at the bottom. It's definitely an oversized fit as well. I've just paired it with a very ripped pair of rebellious fashion jeans. I got these the other day and I honestly love them. Now now our next items are like a two piece. They're sold as separates, but I did see online that they're kind of made to be together and it's a suit. Now this was pricey, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw it online, I was thinking, can I really justify spending that much money on that suit? But I just think it's something that you will end up having for years and linen is kind of pricey. So the trousers I have in a size medium and they were $69.99, which compared to the brown trousers I showed you earlier, which were $29.99, that's a massive jump in price. The blazer jacket I also have in a size medium and it was $79.99. I did debate getting this in a bigger size so I could have that kind of really big oversized look. But I decided against it and opted to stay for the medium size in both. As you can see, the only detailing on it is these three buttons on your cuffs and then you've got four buttons just at the front here. All the buttons have got this kind of shell look to them which I think makes it look really expensive. Although it was very expensive. <laughs> In terms of the trousers, they also fit really nice, the same as the jacket does. 
but they are very long. So like I've already said, I am a 32 leg and these are literally dragging on the floor. I think I just need them turned up once. I still want them to be long, but obviously not as long as they are right now. Overall though, I just think this outfit is so lovely. And although it is slightly pricey, a linen suit is almost like an investment because you will literally have it for years. As long as you keep it clean, that is. But honestly, knowing me, I'll be eating a kebab on the floor somewhere in this. The last item I have out of that box is a pair of shoes. It seems really weird that there's not that many items in that box considering I spent so much bloody money but I guess the suit was really pricey but hopefully you've seen it on and understand why I've spent that much money on it because it's a winner right now these are just something that I saw online and just thought you know what these are an absolute classic like they are going to go with everything the only thing I'd say is I think they're going to get absolutely wrecked because of the material hopefully I won't get too drunk and completely scuff the things to shreds I have them in a size 4, which is my regular size. On the label it says they were 45 euros, but they were definitely more money than that. I think they were about 50 pounds. I do think though, for the fact they are real leather, let me just check they are, yeah, no. So these are real leather, and I just think for 50 quid, they're actually quite well priced. And I'll show you them on. To show you the suede court shoes, I've left my white linen suit on. Also, this shows you how long the trousers are when you're in heels, and they're not actually too bad. So this is the length they'd be if you were in heels and these are the shoes on. Aren't they just absolutely stunning? You might have already noticed that I have already had these on in this haul because I put them on with my t-shirt and those ripped jeans. I think that just shows you that they're so versatile and they just look lovely with everything. That is box number one done. On to box number two. I need to get a knife or something to open this. I've come up with a really genius idea and I'm gonna use this thing out of this shoe to open my next Zara box because I don't have a knife ready available. So this straw kind of thing is gonna have to do, look at that, using your devices, eh? Okay, so box number two. I'm as excited as you lot are for this because I haven't even opened this and usually I always open and try everything on before I show you guys. Should we do the um, tissue paper together? Oh, I was gonna do that all neatly and nicely and I just ripped it, what an idiot. Right, let's forget it. First item is knitwear. Now, it wouldn't be a Zara haul with Freya without including a little bit of knitwear, would it? We are obviously, well, hopefully, going into hotter, warmer weather, but even so, I just always think a little knit is needed. I picked up this striped one, and I think it's very nautical summery vibes. I have it in a size medium, and it's $29.99. Here is this striped jumper on. Now, it's definitely a baggier kind of fit. I absolutely love this rope detail on it here. It almost makes you think there should be a hood on it though, but there's definitely no hood on it at all. Although it's knitted material, it's actually quite breathable, so it's not too warm. And I just think it's perfect to have in your wardrobe for those like cooler summer nights, you can just chuck it on. Like I've got it on now with a pair of white mum jeans. These are from Topshop, by the way or just with a pair of blue denim shorts, a white pair of denim shorts. I just think it's really lovely. Oh my God, guys. I actually couldn't remember how much stuff I ordered when I did this order, and I'm actually quite shocked at how much is in this box. I said this is gonna be quick, but looking at all this, we're gonna be here till next year. Next up, we have got this collarless shirt. It's a really big oversized kind of vibe. It has these kind of tiny, tiny little blue pinstripes down it. I don't know if you can see that there on the fabric. It was $25.99 and I have it in a size small to medium. Now it is very big. As you can see, it's absolutely huge. I could fit like three of me in this, but it does come down quite long and I'm just thinking I'm gonna wear it as a dress and then just a sun hat on the beach. It's such a light material, so perfect just to chuck on over your bikini when you're on holiday. It would also look really nice with a pair of denim shorts underneath it. By the way, apologies if you can see my white pants. I'm actually laughing that I'm stood at home on my stairs with this bloody hat on. But yeah, just to give you an idea, I just think it's a really chic, classy beach outfit with just a pair of slides, a nice beach bag, a hat like this, white bikini, and then this over the top. Next item, I can't actually remember even ordering this. Let me see what it is. Oh no, I can, I can, I can. This is a lace top. I actually saw this on someone on Instagram. I can't remember who, and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I quickly went online and purchased it. It was 25 dollars and I have it in a size medium. 
Now I think this is stunning but I'm not really sure if it's very me. I put it on with the trousers from the start of the video and it actually looks really lovely together but I just don't feel myself in this at all. I'd probably say if you're in between sizes, size down, I've got it on in a medium and a small would probably fit me better. It has got the most beautiful detailing as you can see all on the cuffs and then on the neck as well. I haven't done up the neck properly because I've got no one here to do the buttons up. Like I said, it is such a beautiful top but I just don't really think it's very Freya Killing vibes. Also, do be aware, because it is lace, it is quite see-through, and as you can see, you can see my bra, so if you're not into that, definitely get a little white cami top to wear underneath it. It is such a stunning top. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking, but I'm just thinking it's not really very me. Next item is yet another top. It is this knitted style top, and it has this kind of frill detail on the front as well. I have it in a size small and it was only $17.99, which I think is very reasonable for such a lovely quality top. Here is this knit top on. Now, first impressions is, look, you can see my bra. If you're gonna wear this, you need to take your bra off. I'd probably advise getting some tit tape. Is it tit tape? It's like body tape, you know what I mean? I'd advise you getting some of that and kind of sticking the top up here, otherwise you're definitely at risk of exposing a nipple or two. It is such a lovely pretty top though. It's a very lightweight material. I think it looks really nice with these white jeans. You could definitely dress it up or down and for $17.99, I just think it's an absolute bargain. And for that price, I will be keeping it. Moving away from tops for just a minute, I seem to have a real thing for t-shirts and tops in general. I've now though got a pair of trousers they're this kind of cargo style pan. I'm not sure how these are actually going to look on. They've got cuff bottoms on them as well. I have them in a size medium and they were $25.99. Here are these cargo style trousers on. I have to say I don't really think I am much of a fan. The material is really creased. They could definitely do with a steam. But you can see they're just too long on me. They probably would look better with a pair of sandals on rather than these trainers. They don't do me any favours around the waist either. They are really lovely or lightweight material though, but I just don't like these whole pockets and everything else. I feel like a bit of an action man in them, I'm not gonna lie. Just whilst we're here, I just want to address my stair carpet. If you're looking at it at any point thinking it could do with a hoover, just to let you know it is hoovered, we are clean. But we have a cat that absolutely loves ripping it up. So yeah, basically the cat has destroyed the stair carpet and that is why it's looking like it is. You knew I couldn't stay away from tops and shirts for too long. The next item is this silky shirt. I actually did try this top on in my last video, which was a come to Zara shopping with me. Does that make sense? Something like that, you know what I'm trying to say. And I loved it, but I can't remember why I didn't buy it at the time. Anyway, I just thought, you know what, I'll buy it online. I have it in a size medium and it was $25.99. I'm not going to talk about the silk shirt too much because I did already feature it in my last video. But just to show you what it's like lengthwise and what the material looks like as well, I plan on wearing this, as you saw in my last video, tucked in and then with a pair of white shorts. Now, I've only got two more items left. So, the second to last item is these linen style trousers. I have them in a size medium and they were $29.99. Here are these linen trousers on. I love them. They fit completely true to size. Like the cargo pants, they could definitely do with a bit of a steam. They are also quite long, but not too long. I'm actually thinking I'm going to travel in these because they are so comfortable. This waistband is obviously elastic, so perfect when you're on the plane. I love this rope detail here as well, and I just think these are absolutely lovely. I'm definitely keeping these. This is my last item, and God, I've saved the most exciting item until last. Are you ready? I've got this little basic vest top. <laughs> I've got it in a size medium, and it was $5.99. Last but not least, my final item is just literally this white vest top. These are so handy to have. You know that lace top I had earlier? This would be perfect to put underneath that, just to cover up your bra and things. You can also wear these exactly as I am now. And this one has a really lovely material to it as well. That is the end of my Zara haul. I have nothing left in my boxes and I just have a big pile next to me here. I hope you've enjoyed that and maybe seen some stuff that you'd like to buy yourself. As always, I will link everything I featured in the description box down below. I'd love it so much if you'd like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. 